we went to Jamaica. So watch this vlog if you want to see how we spent our five day four night trip at the Rio Ocho Rios in Jamaica. We celebrated Chris's younger sister's birthday and graduation from high school. So keep watching to see us go to the beach, do some activities at the resort and go on an excursion. So the commute from the Montego Bay airport was I think like two hours to our hotel in Ocho Rio. So that's just something to keep in mind. Most of our day was taken up by commuting. Um, but once we got there, we checked in and then headed to our room. So make sure to check out my resort tour if you want to see more of the entire resort. As we typically do, we finished the night with a night walk on the beach before getting ready for day two. Hello, baby. Hello. So yeah, y'all. So we went and had breakfast this morning. How would you rate the breakfast food? Eight. Yeah, I would say it was eight too. It was better than dinner. Yeah. Last night. Because um, we said dinner was like a six. Yeah, like a six ish. But breakfast was pretty good. And then we went and talked with the excursion people, so we need to figure out what excursion we're gonna do. He doesn't think we should do the rafting. Yeah. Yeah. I like the tubing. Yeah, so we'll figure that out. We might do the party boat though. No. Yeah. Would you snorkel? Yeah. I'm more prepared this time. Yeah. I'm Michael Phelps level now. I love snorkeling. I feel like I've been going snorkeling every single trip. People are probably like, we're tired of seeing the same yeah. fish videos. <laughs> Anytime we go on vacation, we showing us some fish. Dory again. Yeah. But yeah, so we are going to go to the pool, go to the beach today. They have bingo later. They have the silent disco mm -hmm. and just different fun stuff. So I'm excited. It should be a fun day.
rainy. The sun is gone, but it feels amazing. And the water is very nice, so it's fine. Got back to the room and they did cute little stuff. It's so adorable. How you know, they put the little fake little flowers. They're real. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, wow, they're real. <laughs> so you guys, this is the fit for the night. From the Fashion Nova, I think. <laughs> yep, it's a cute little cutout dress. So yeah, so overall today was fun. We did hit some rain. It was kind of hurricane vibes, but we had a lot of fun. So right now we are going to get some dinner at one of the restaurants. They have like Asian food, I think. And yeah, we'll see how it tastes. And then they have a show, an international show later, and then the silent disco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we had dinner here. If I remember, it was buffet styled, but it was not like the regular buffet um, for the Asian restaurant. Yeah, um, but it was all right. We actually ended up going to the buffet after this to get some more food. We ended up at the buffet, you guys. <laughs> Let's see if we want a bite of anything. Because y'all, let's get it. I bit me in my head twice. So once again, as usual, we were getting breakfast at the buffet before starting our day off today. We were gonna hit the beach before the foam party and some of the other stuff. Um, just staying at the resort before our excursion tomorrow. <laughs> This night we had dinner at the Piacenza restaurant. So this is one of the sit down restaurant selections, but you do um, get like some of your appetizer items from the buffet portion. So kind of like salad bar things, but overall our food was pretty good. Tables turned plant holders. Thank you. Liz Anya. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bon appetit. Bon
entertainment of the trip so far. What is your strategy? Win. <laughs> How do you win? Beating you. But what is your strategy in order to do that? Get the balls in the hole. All right. You heard it here first, folks. No real strategy. My strategy is to scare him by doing the best consecutive round he's ever seen. Alright you guys, he still has two It's not over. He still has two colored balls left and she I have zero strikes you left. He scratched the eight ball and she lost, but we're not counting that. So the game's still going on. I need more power. <laughs> I need more power in my shot. Might be like Let's see how hard you can hit yours. If I, if I use my powers, I'm going to go blind. <laughs> you know how I do. Shoot, shoot a ball through the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, you guys. Excursion time. We're running a little behind. Hopefully they won't leave us. But we're doing the party boat catamaran. Some snorkel. Y'all know I love me a good snorkel. And um, we're going to see the Dunn River Falls. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, it's fun. Well, we're all going to the same destination. Ocho Rios, find the catamaran. We're going to be shaking booty in the name <laughs> of the Lord. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Thank you. Yeah, man, enjoy your day now. So the way this excursion worked is we had our like hiking guide or tour guide and you basically hike up the parts of the rocks where the waterfall is coming down. I can't remember how long it took but um, you'll see in some of the footage they'll take some pictures of you and photos of you. We ended up buying a couple. Um, just with the falls behind you and then yeah you pretty much hike up the side like you can see those people there and you're kind of holding each other to make sure you don't slip going under little bridge type <laughs> structures um, but it was really nice it did start to rain on us and um, so we definitely had more of a rainforest type of experience with it but it was really fun rain down on me my Tarzan in his natural habitat. <laughs> I know, that was kind of wild when the rain started. No, I y'all, listen, I did that on a sprained ankle. I Talk know. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> She's okay. different. She's built different. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice. We had a good time. Got some exercise in the thunderstorm. Hopefully it'll pass so we can do our snorkel. <laughs> 
not the time. So you guys know I'm always down for a good snorkel, but um, as you can see, we had some rain, so it was also overcast, and it was kind of hard to see in the water. Um, there also just wasn't a lot of fish out where we were. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was nice to be out there snorkeling. The, the water wasn't too crazy or anything. It was pretty smooth. It just wasn't a lot to see. It's moving. Oh my god. It's moving. Oh, yeah, it's moving. Dead. Here's the mouth. Right Is it? Oh, five teeth. Oh. It's harmless. Oh my god. No. You want to hold it? I think so. <laughs> right, how do they feel? Mm -hmm. They just eat stuff off or eat. <laughs> <laughs> We all have our outfits on for the whiteout party. That's not happening. That might not happen. It might get canceled. Just kidding. Yeah, it might not happen. <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't know where we would find out if it got canceled, but oh well. Well, people have been wearing white every day, so that's a good thing. I've been seeing people wearing all that. Oh, see, try it, please. Um, we have to wait for our little buzzer thing to go off before we can eat, so we're starving. But yeah, passing time, taking photos, and then Chris is watching um. The game, I think. In the draft lottery. I need the Hornets to get the number one pick. <laughs> or the Trailblazers, one of them too. <laughs> Who is the number one pick? Victor Wimbayama is supposed to be the, the next LeBron. Really? Yeah, that's supposedly how good he is. Dang, well, I hope we get him. We'll be at some winning games. Maybe we'll make the playoffs. Still waiting. Charlie got the number two pick. Shaking my head. Portland did get number three, so I'm happy about that. Who? Portland? Portland got three. They were supposed to get like five. Okay. Well, this is what he's doing as we wait for another 45 minutes. We've been waiting for 45 minutes now to eat this steakhouse. The matcha don't even be good. We might never find out. Finally seated. Woo! Oh really? Yeah. Yummy. And dessert. I didn't get any because I am stuffed. was a nice little way to end pretty much our trip because the next day was another travel day for us to get back home. Top of the morning to ya. It's day five, AKA the last day. And not even a full day, really. Just breakfast, make our bags, and peace out. Because like I said, the commute is so far. I don't even know if y'all can hear me. Because the commute is so far, we have to leave here by 10.30 for our 4.30 flight. It's been a great fun time. It just went way too fast, I'd say. So but that means you're having a great time. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite part of the vlog was. 
Um, subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications to be updated every time I upload. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.